is Amy Van Winkle and I work in the medium of encaustic. My show here at Slate Gray is called Sealed in History. Um, as a kid, I would say the biggest influence in bringing me to the world of art was um, really just in my upbringing. I was the second of two children and I had an unfortunate um, event happen when I was six. Uh, my brother was uh, killed tragically. And what that did is it kind of uh, sent me on, I think, a path of uh, being very independent, having to kind of take care of myself a lot, and, um, you know, spending a lot of time alone. So I would venture off to my room, I would draw, I would listen to music, I would write. I think it was just my way of kind of trying to figure out things. My perspective as an artist um, from when I started has changed tremendously. I think that growing up, I didn't really know you could be a professional artist and make money at it, for one thing. I was working in a lot of mixed media and acrylic, um, and I was really into doing photo transfers onto painted surfaces. But I was a little frustrated um, with the results. So I started looking for new ways to um, get the results that I was looking for. And um, I started reading about encaustic, and I, I knew about the medium, but I didn't really know about how it works and how um, it just the whole process. And so I just dove in, read everything I could get my hands on, watched every video I could, and I started experimenting in it. And um, I really love the results. Learning a new medium, of course, you're experimenting and learning how to control that medium. And I feel like I've gotten pretty good with my medium. It's taken a long time and a lot of hours, but um, I'm still experimenting and I hope that for the rest of my life, until my last breath, I'm experimenting with art because I feel like as an artist, that's really the only way to grow. I decided to start working in circles. It just is a, is a, new, is a new shape to try. I'm always working very linear squares and rectangles, so I thought it would be a really nice way to try out my work and try out the um, the linearness of my work and the simplicity of it on a circle. And to me, a circle is like a it's like a little window, you know, especially out of a ship. And I just think where you can there's a whole world out there, but you're only getting a small glimpse of it, which I think is really cool. And with encaustic, um, in particular, because it is a natural process, um, it's a natural uh, natural materials. So you're talking filtered beeswax and demar resin, um, which is a from trees. So, um, yeah, I think there's definitely um, an appreciation for, for nature every time I paint. Uh, the process and the journey of my work varies with every piece I make. Um, I love to um, kind of let my intuition really guide me as far as what colors to use. Um, I don't want to try to control it that much. Um, I like to kind of just let the colors show through and um, just let the process happen na more naturally. I think my art reflects my environments, either my current environments in Santa Fe and Telluride, or environments that I've traveled to uh, throughout my life. I think that um, there also is a reflection of emotions and just memories. It's you know, it's very common to create a painting and kind of have this sense of I've been there before. Or it feels familiar, even if I don't necessarily remember the actual place. The title of my exhibition, Sealed in History, I chose because I work in so many layers of pigmented wax that, like everybody, we have elements in our history that we talk about and we have elements that we cover up and maybe we don't discuss. And I like the idea of somebody walking into a room or a gallery and my work really captures their attention because it's vibrant and bold. But then as they get closer to the work, they see all the details that are in there. The details are what I love about my work. And realize that there are all these different layers and there's this transparency to it. And there's a lot going on underneath the surface. And I like to think that the longer you look at my work and the more you get to know me, the more we reveal. I learned to be very independent young, as I said before, and uh, very resilient. 
I never have ever let fear get in my way of doing something. And I always, I always think that you know, ignorance is bliss, and that's a beautiful thing. Um, if you don't know what to fear, you, you know, it won't stop you from from trying. So I think that uh, in anything I've done, traveling, I've backpacked by myself through Asia. I've, tried different art forms, I've worked all kinds of jobs, I've just never let fear get in my way of pursuing what I want to do. I don't know where my work's going. I have a lot of ideas, some that would transition, I think, nicely to what I'm doing now. Different uh, palettes, different uh, formats. I also do really want to go back to doing some portrait work and seeing if maybe I can meld the two together. I don't know if that's gonna happen. It may take me years to get there, but that's on my mind.